in the year 2019, socialism officially opened its door in Kenya. The Social Democratic Party changed its name to Communist Party of Kenya, basing its operation on Marxism-Leninist ideology. The Communist Party of Kenya, over time, has employed different tactics in reaching out to the working class and the peasants all over the country. CPK TV is set for 405 km journey, 7 hours and 47 minutes drive to game constituency Siaya County to meet with Bangaisa crew, a revolutionary artist band who are using rap music to reach out to the peasants and the working class in the rural setting. from Bangaiza crew, um, a group of artists from Game, Sierra County in Kenya. Um, we mainly do music, um, progressive music. We talk about the, the political activities in Kenya and the world at, at large. We also educate the youth about the political ongoings um, in, in the country and we also add them to be active in politics since politics is also connected to our day-to-day life activities. Uh, we've done a um, number of songs, five particularly. Um, the first one was Buka, mainly for campaign purposes of one of the candidates. <laughs> Kuzifita then we did a collaboration with the with some comrades from India, the international magazine. The song was just called uh, "Was Advocating for Subscription to the International Magazine." Um, then uh, we've done. We also done uh, "Africa Is Crying," where we were talking about uh, how. Uh, Africa is being exploited by the West and the US and how you know what should be done to this case. Let it fall like such a breeze with the riches, the resources, the in poverty. They put our forefathers to a lot of suffering. Why do they hate us this much? I'm still wondering. In the 60s, they gave us independence. I can lie, this move was to defend them. Africa is free, that's what they pretended. They are shamelessly living in enslavement. They gave us some debt that we could never pay back. 
In return our resources was the way out They control our leaders who can save us Big up to Gaddafi tried to unchain us They took you down but all you did was tell us A lot of false story about you was made up We didn't believe at the time that they hate us And all they meant was nothing but enslave us They exploit us in return we get nothing If there's war, there's a lot of war funding A lot of black kids are used to sleeping hungry Fuel food prices are always rising Innocent solo are massacred in Congo It was nothing to them, it was normal As long as they get what they want, they will never stop But how long will allow this to go on? They've set up corporations that they used to steal from us We offer cheap labor, but get less in return We be put so living clothes are second hand Africans, you are at the mercy of these hooligans If you don't have the present, but think about the future They are looked as all they do is use us We've been ruled down in poverty for sure But they gave us tea with salt, with no sugar We'll be brain drained, still in our slave chain It's a shame, shit, there's nothing we have gained, gained this Our latest song is um, Nja Box Nja Box is a Swahili word, uh, it's a slang, sheng, it's a slang, sheng <laughs> yeah, it's a slang called Sheng in Kenya, which uh, simply means out of the box. Uh, we are urging uh, the youths and everyone to think out of the box, uh, out of the reactionary box. For, for instance, now we have um, the government and the opposition are fighting. Um, so people are, are, are forced to align to either, with either with eight of them, but at the end of the day, when the, um, the leaders will meet, they will uh, share power. Those that were on the, on the ground, the youth that were sent on the ground, and the police also, they'll just continue living the way they are. So, Inja Box, um, the main goal of Inja Box is to make these people think out of the box, to think for, think out of the box in, in, in that they have to look for other solutions instead of, um, or other ways of liberating the country other than depending on some opportunistic leaders that we have. Now see your church a government fail, standards are living in Medirate. Wa Kenya ni gongori, leo ni mamu wa kuwa piki anga katu story. Deli tumekuwa loki, tuki wori bengine waja tishi tangu moni. Hawa wana siyasa ni wadoi, intezetu huku hawa bongi. Life siya ma softi, eno joki in Kenya tuna moni yeto. Deli ni kusaka wana ni uta hasla Harapa shamba hukwa litupanga Mile mama mboga takuwa kwa gava Lifestyle ya wato bode itapanda Nasikia wera zilipewa kinomanga CAS hakuna tamse wa kipanda Bewa mafuta si bado inapanda Kwa munu wana inchi bado wana lalanja Hasla kama kawa si bado na loot Kwa Kenya lazima tujue to the truth Kwa kutisa idea hasla baby ya na mood Kisipo change very soon tutafesa wa John The pain to the gain Uhuru Kenya bado da thing Yo what's up citizens my name is Brian Utieno A member of Banga Izo crew Our crew consists of rappers and dancers Where we do both so we have released our latest music and it's called India Box. Uh, when I translate the title, it means thinking outside the box. So we were trying to pass a message to all citizens in Kenya and maybe outside the world, teaching them that in this world, if you want to survive, you got to reason out. You are fighting for the rights of the workers and the peasants. To my line, it went like this. Deli ni kusaka wana nita hasla. Arap mashamba hukwa litupanga. Vile mamambo gata kuwa kwa gava. Lifestyle ya wato bode itapanda. Nasikia wera zilipewa kinomanga. Siye esa kuna tamse wa kipanda. Bewa mafuta si bado inapanda. Kwa munu wana inchi bado wana lalanja. Hasla kama kawa si bado na loot. Kwa Kenya lazima tujue to the truth. Kwa kutisa idea hasla baby ya na mood Kisipo change very soon Tutafesa wa John The pain to the gain Uhuru Kenya bada In Kenya The political leaders are taking advantages of us Like let's say The current So president He lied to us that We love people that are working in the shop That it will He will hire in the government But We never saw that So 
we have to think outside the box. Uh, we we'll stay in the same condition until we don't know when. This song is a revolutionary song. Nasio chocha gavai mi fair standards are living zi medi grand they've turned the pain to their game uru kenya badi jatain nasio chocha gavai mi fair standards are living zi zi medi grand hey yo what's up my people this is Cleophas Odeambo a member of Bangaiza dance group what what we see the government is doing is the opposite of what should be done to the people like let's say our president says that when he gets into power, he will, he will bring the Mama Boga, he will bring the Boda Boda people to the government so that they build, they build the sector. And what we are now seeing after he got the power, we are now seeing those who that have money, those who have so many big, big plots, they are the ones who are being uplifted yet the Mamamboga and the common Mananchi is still suffering. Bangaiza contain dancers and artists. Whereas I am a dancer in the Bangaiza crew, we do choreography, which we dance. Uh, the dance we are doing is uh, is about we are doing for the left leftist side. We want to support people. We want to we are here for the people because as we support peasants and workers. And I'm also a peasant. We are doing dance not for fun. Capitalism must die and we must we must bring up the communism, socialism so that so that the the people, the common peasants and workers to get to get to own their own resources and to and and to make more from their own resources. What we are doing is art and the art is for the left side and we are here to make it grow and we are here to show that capitalism must die and socialism must rise up and we must take over and build our country to the fullest long live long live the struggle long live so the main goal of our songs is to teach the youth and the world at large about the political ongoings and the world, the way the normal lives that we live are connected to the politics that are, yeah, the politics. So at large our songs are advocating for emancipation of the poor people in the world and um, total revolution and change that will bring about development and progress, not only in our continent, but at the world stage. CPK TV crew is said to meet the chairman of the Communist Party of Kenya, Sayre County, who is also the patron of the Bangaiza crew, Comrade Len Munana. And this is what he had to say. So they have uh, conditioned our artists in, the, in a way that any artist that will think of uh, producing something political, then it will be to praise one imperialist stooge or the other. But now we have seen some of the songs from uh, Bangaiza not, um, not trying to uh, idealize uh, any imperialist stooge. Uh, even, for example, they, there is a song, when you check into the account has reflected the poverty in Africa and that song is called Africa is crying so when you are talking about uh, this particular song of Bangaiza Africa is crying you realize that it is a reflection and for sure we are blessed with minerals and for that fact we realize that uh, all these minerals that we are talking about here we are the ones who are living in poverty we are the ones who are still uh, developing or we can say when you compare maybe to the to the western countries we are uh, we are still a bit backward and that one is not for that one is not for sure we want to talk about exploitation of the 
of, of, of these other imperialist countries into this uh, we want to question their relationship with uh, with us uh, as Africa and uh, for that we want also to uh, when we are questioning the relationship what we need to ask is how are they also how are we benefiting from uh, the mineral resources that we are we are getting because any time in this country when I mean in this country and Africa at large when we realize that we can now produce these mineral resources then for that fact we realize that the, the presidents of the most powerful states are also coming in this country for that fact it is not always for the interest of the, of the people but they are coming only to make sure that they can exploit and strike a deal that will help them to continue exploiting our mineral resources and not giving us uh, are not uh, giving us a return so we have uh, failed to get returns from our own mineral resources as the natives and uh, that one is yo, yo. Banga Isa, we be new standing get it for like Sancho Greece. With the riches and resources, still in poverty. They put up for all fathers to a lot of suffering. Why do they hate us this much? I'm still wondering. In the 60s, they gave us independence. I can lie, this move us to defend them. Africa is free, that's what they pretended. They are shameless, still living in enslavement. They gave us some debt that we could never pay back. In return, our resources was the way out. They control our leaders who can save us. They got to get up, try to unchain us. They took you down, but all you did was help us. A lot of false story about you was made up. We didn't believe at the time that they hate us. And all the men was nothing but a slave us. They exploit us in return, we get nothing. If there's war, there's a lot of war funding. A lot of black kids are used to sleeping hungry. Fair food prices are always rising. Innocent solo massacred in Congo. It was nothing to them, it was normal. As long as they get what they want, they will never stop. But how long will allow this to go on? They set up corporations that they used to see from us. We have for cheap labor, but get less in return. We be put so the clothes are second hand. Africans were at the mercy of this only gun. Don't have the present, but think about the future. They are loot as all they do is use us. We be rude down in poverty for sure. They gave us tea with salt. We no sugar, we be brain drained, still in our slave chain. It's a shame, shame, there's nothing we have gained, gained. This is a blame game, freedom is our main aim. That's a game from this pen and true independence. I feel don't have the present, but think about the future. They are loot, that's all they do is use us. The neoliberal tendencies and neoliberal structures that are still continuing have uh, caused the producer to continue suffering because. Um, once we have uh, once we have produced as farmers then uh, on the other end the bourgeoisie are actually holding the produce from um, from the farmer and then coming back to the farmer and selling them back at a higher price so it's continue that the farmer is selling it at a lesser price and now the the, the bourgeoisie is again coming back to sell it to the farmer back at a higher price so uh, we have also seen Kenya Kwanzaa government not doing anything about it and trying to also put some policies that could help the farmer to benefit from what he produces. So we are just seeing exploitation, oppression. And uh, for that fact, I also want to recognize uh, one of the groups that uh, also they are moving, those that are still coming up, and that is the chosen one. Okay, 
Between your channel, or Pio or Pio Ringo, Pio Ringo, or Pio Ringo to teach on Nino, Baba Mundo, Baba Mundo Cotinido, Pio, Baba Pinja Pia Soy, Between your channel, or Pio or Pio Ringo, Pio Ringo, or Pio Ringo to teach on Nino, Baba Mundo, Baba Mundo Cotinido, Pio, Baba Pinja Pia Soy, or you need the Moti or you need Tetalil, or you need the Chim or you need the Sassam, or you need the Moti or you need Tetalil, or you need the Chim or you need the Sassam, Kimoki Pedo, Oki Cham. So we want also to remember some of our comrades there that uh, uh, really did well in terms of um, producing and in terms of, and in terms of uh, educating the people and in terms of advancing the struggle. And uh, we have comrade um, uh, the late who is now the late in honor comrade Emma, uh, who was who was also a devoted comrade to ensure that at least uh, we could uh, advance this struggle to the next level. Another comrade that we can give his story is comrade um, Harris, who was uh, murdered by the police. And that one was because comrade Harris could fight for the rights of the people. And uh, we say that it's not, when we see people fighting, then there is something wrong in it. So we don't, we don't just fight because we like fighting, but we are fighting because there is something wrong. But in recently, uh, the, the, the economic uh, conditions we have seen inflation. We, we we have seen we have seen the lives of our people unbearable, and that one has caused us to most of the Kenyans going to the streets. And for that fa for for that fact, it was sad. We lost uh, comradeers through the struggle. Uh, and with that, we say may his spirit, uh, may his soul rest in peace. And we will continue remembering and honoring uh, Comrade Harris wherever he is because. Um, uh, is among our fellow soldiers and today uh, we remember the likes of um, we have said the likes of dead and Kimati and in game here uh, Comrade Harris is joining the likes of uh, Wasonga CJ and uh, in Nyanza here when we are remembering the likes of Georgia Nyono we are talking about the likes of um, Ogingo Dinga and uh, in Kenya at large we are talking about the likes of dead and Kimati Musa Mwariamu we are talking about Koitalel, Arab Samoe, then Koitalel, we are talking about um, even Otenyo, we are talking about all in Africa. Uh, we remember Comrade Harris alongside the likes of Thomas Sankara, al alongside the likes of uh, Nelson Mandela, the likes of um, Samora Machel. Uh, we are remembering this comrade with the likes of Amilka Cabral. In the world, we continue also to remember Comrade Harris alongside our people that fought for the, for, for the well-being of, of the people. And in, in that spirit, uh, we know that majority of the people were killed and assassinated for the well-being of the, of the majority. So in the spirit, to us, we want to assure that our, the blood of the poor people that has been shed for their sake for the sake of the emancipation of the of the proletariats and the working class, we will not uh, leave it in vain. And in fact, uh, in this region, in game, we are planning to make sure that during the Mashuja Day, we will continue to remember our people. And when we are remembering our people, we will not remember the rich that have lost, uh, that are continuing to be idolized. Yet, we have majority of the poor people that have really sacrificed honestly to make sure that uh, the well-being of the proletariats, who are the peasants and the workers, uh, are emancipated. So we want to make sure that in that event on 20th of October, we will also be having our event here to remind, to remind, to remember uh, our real heroes. And that one, uh, we will actually the first hero that we are going to remember here are the likes of Wasonga CJ. We are going to remember Harris Uchien Comrade. We are going to remember Comrade Emma and all any other poor people that sacrificed their lives uh, during even the famous Sabasaba in the early 80s. We had a lot of poor people that died in that particular era. So we are all remembering them. And um, in even our Manda Mano, we have seen it was not just uh, Comrade Harris that was killed. We also had other people that were killed, and um, in this particular region in game, we even had another good friend of ours that was called even Fanu, that was also killed 
uh, in the process. We have also seen um, the extrajudicial killing going overboard and nowadays they are even trying to go uh, inspecting each and every house and trying to uh, intimidate uh, our the, the, patriot, the patriots who are willing to uh, fight and die for this country. And just recently in Viga County, in Viga County here, we had also seen the likes of um, other people that uh, were also uh, killed by the through police brutality, and uh, we condemn. So in this country, we have seen the colonial uh, ways uh, being. We are saying we we stopped seeing the white colonists, but now we are seeing the black the black colonists, and these people are getting directions from the from the whites and uh, not not from not from the whites but they are getting directions from the from the from their imperialist uh, from imperialist masters and uh, that one is something that is uh, saddening that in this country we cannot so we condemn neo colonization that is happening and uh, we urge our people to continue fighting for the true independence where we can uh, where we can stand up and fight for what belongs to us, where we can have a country that can deliberate on their own and see how all the resources that they are having can benefit the people. And through that, we are also talking about relationship that will be mutual, that each and every uh, uh, country will benefit from one another, not one country benefiting more and the other country not benefiting more. So, uh, and that for that fact is that, for example, Kenya has not been benefiting more from their own resources. And um, uh, we want even to question that we as Kenyans we have been even taking residues of tea, yet grade one has been exported into uh, our, into the Western countries. So we want even to question such like, and um, for us also to to see if, if Kenyans are sacrificing to take the residues and teas, the grade one and two being exported, then we will urge that that money to be used appropriately to import. blacks ain't no good, only option is to change America. America. Never been in America. Are you king of the world? Because people are fucking racist, man. You know, but you're changing, changing the, the world, world like a game. game. Putting the world into pain. The police working schools to get them young. Saving for Walmart to get the work. Speaking, you come into Africa now. How my children open do they want the facts? South America in the past. For our resources, I know that they last. They need to be the Somali Sudan. Exported the poor to be rich as they can. Until blacks got armed. Um, our militia was dry. After we passed a gun law for more blacks to die. Now you come into Africa, we receive this message you fry. Being with you, guns, prisons, and crime with you, nothing is bright. Yeah. Show to the people of America, don't come here, it's a shito. Stay where you are. Biden's admin, keep off. We are fine as hell. Send your armies and dollar to help the blacks in America and feed them, clothe them, and give them housing. Turn back your aid to clean your poison water feed. Take your capacity building, educate your races, police, judges, people, and Congress. Fuck your petrol dollar. Fuck your sanctions adversaries. Fuck your freedom. Keep your jails. Keep your democracy and that Africa aid can go fuck it. Fuck it. I see you, America. You can hide no more.